Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a 2016 Camaro. It is Marissa's. It's a, obviously it's a 6.2. They installed Texas Speed long tube headers and they got this really, really neat uh, cold air inductions. They went with the Elite Carbon. I'll be showing you guys that right now. Um, so we are doing a flex fuel tune on it. So the first steps as always, dialing in 91 to make sure it's safe on 91. Once I get done with 91, obviously we're gonna pump some E. It should put us around the 20, E30. And slowly start adding E just to make sure I have timing safely throughout the whole um, alcohol content instead of just tuning in for 91 and 85. So I have my two jugs, uh, Blaine and Marissa actually brought them. So they were thinking ahead. Right, guys so i just got done dialing in 91 uh and it's actually it took me by surprise and put down some really good numbers torque was insane uh check it out so obviously the solid line is what it came with this is after adding long tubes and the colder air um, I've been messing around trying to dial it in so obviously the last pull we did lost a little bit of horsepower so we always save the previous runs so I'm going back to the previous tune uh, but it's averaging around 427 see it did lose a little bit on that pull I was messing with variable cam timing just to see if I can get a little bit more power out of it just trying to squeeze everything out of it safely um, torque is also pretty insane we're at 455 so overall this car's gonna move really really good and i'm about to pump e85 Seguro. So we're about to see what kind of difference uh, E85 actually makes on these LT1 engines to see just how well it is. Um, I think it's going to help us out a lot. It is high compression, so they love octane. Uh, they also, they run a little bit hotter, so they love the cool charge. So overall, I think it's going to put out some really, really good numbers. Well, I pumped some E85, well, poured some E85 in. Now, we're just going to run it a bit until it burns out. It's kind of hard to see. Until it burns all the 91 that's in the line. So, just going to cruise it, let it burn. So we added five gallons. That should put us really close to about E40, E50, hopefully. Uh, being that it was a little bit of a quarter tank. So I'm thinking it's gonna be around E40. Um, that should be able to add almost max timing. Obviously we're gonna play it a little bit safe and have it add probably two, three degrees more. Overall we're running right now and if it likes it, we'll bump it up a bit and just wait till we go full E for the rest so I don't know I'm pretty excited we should be seeing some solid numbers I'm I'm curious so guys 
guys, as I was telling you, you did get the Elite Carbon intake, as you can see. It is one of the baddest intakes in the market for the 6th gens. I'm extremely, extremely satisfied with the way it's running. The car has been idling for a while, just trying to get the alcohol percent to start reading properly so we can burn all the fuel. And inlet air temps are barely above ambient. Uh, it's a great, great intake. Uh, I definitely recommend it if you can obviously shell out the extra bucks. If not, the regular uh, cold air inductions intake will do just as fine. So alcohol content's at 25% right now. It's starting to burn it. Uh, all the 91 that was on the lines out, it's mixing. It's going up to 26. Uh, I started driving it, hit 1500 uh, RPMs. The inlet air temps extremely dropped, just almost immediately. We're down to 102. And like I said, that's at really, really low RPMs. We usually don't start seeing the cool down effect until around 3000 RPMs when we start getting more air velocity in. I do appreciate them buying it. Um, obviously, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I'm just trying to get the best product out to my customers. So this is great R&D in this department for me. So now I know what to recommend if they want to shout out the big bucks. So. So I was pretty damn close. Uh, actually, I was right on the dot. I did say it was gonna put us around E40. Alcohol is at 40%, so we're ready to do some pools. So just did the first pull, we picked up 11 horsepower and quite some foot pounds. That's with no additional timing, that's just straight E85, that's the only difference in this pull from the others. So let's see what we can get with some more timing. Alright, so I added the second jug of E85, uh, content's going up to where I want 51.8%. So I'm hoping we get closer to 60 but if not, we'll just send it on 50%. Like I said, we should be able to get max timing at 50%, so let's check it out. Well guys, Camaro is done. We're about to take it for a test drive to make sure everything is looking good. We did see approximately 20 horsepower gains from E85 to 91, give or take. Um, well, E50, uh, the most I got was E52%. Uh, so we're gonna take it for a test drive make sure everything is good and hopefully marissa enjoys this car the reason i like to do the test drives is because sometimes there's a little discrepancy in the dyno where it might add a little too much load might not add enough load so the airflow ratios timing and all that sometimes changes from the street to the dyno so I like to double check everything. Uh, we usually test drive for around 10, 15 minutes, do a few pulls here and there just to make sure everything is healthy, everything is good to go. first time using the active rev match properly it still catches me off guard uh, my Mustang doesn't come with it so I don't know it's pretty neat actually at first I was a little iffy about it but it's actually pretty neat is makes driving at a breeze 
wish I had it sometimes to keep me from overheating my clutch. So here we go. So what I'm about to show you guys is the difference from how the car came in 291 tune with headers and obviously all the good stuff to the E52. Okay, so as usual, solid line is completely stock. This is how the car first came in. Came in with a max of 399, 400. So after they added the colder inductions, elite intake and the texas speed headers we picked up 25 horses which is not bad it is a 91 obviously if i recall correctly the dyno actually picked up 431 but due to the smoothing factor that we have at 50 to make the line look good we lost some of that we lost that number so i like to use a smoothing factor of 50 just to get a clean chart so the final output number was 442, which is 42 horsepower over stock with uh, E50. This was at 24 degrees of timing. I tried adding more timing, but there was no more power left. We picked up a massive amount of torque. So peak torque before was 394, and now we're at 445. So we picked up 50 foot-pounds, which is extremely, extremely good. Again, um, these are your very basic bolt-ons nothing crazy nothing too expensive that being said e85 is a great addition to any car whether you're in a whether you're boosted the gains are there obviously the gains aren't going to be as big as if you were boosted but you're still getting gains and the car is also running a lot safer being that it's approximately 110 octane you get obviously more power from it and since it has more volume it helps cool down the air charge being alcohol runs colder so the cylinders are going to stay a lot cooler the engine is going to run a lot cooler so for just being something that you, you can pump as long as you have a flex fuel tune as long as you have a sensor or a dedicated e85 tune i highly highly recommend it so once again thank you guys for stopping by leave a comment leave a like subscribe let me know what you guys like let me know what you guys didn't like just let me know what else you guys want to see we have a few more projects coming up um i will be finishing up some few videos so stay tuned